Okay, now let's talk about if we have a secondary datum feature reference, which is at the max material boundary. Okay, so in this case, what you see right here is we have an orientation tolerance. Orientation tolerance right here. And we apply our datum B to that. So that makes sense, it's a cylinder, it all works out well. And then we have a location tolerance for these holes. Now, before, it kind of made sense because all of our you know, stuff was connected, it was like just the size tolerance I was looking at. This is a completely different plane, it's a completely different type of tolerance, it's not connected to what this was connected to. So, what's going on here? How are we going to figure this out? Well, what it's telling us is that since we're referencing this at the max material boundary, this one is going to be able to jiggle back and forth. I use jiggle a lot. I have two young children. I'm allowed to do that. It's going to be able to jiggle back and forth. And because it jiggles back and forth, well, if I'm trying to locate these four holes, they might have been you know, at the wrong location technically, but because this can jiggle back and forth, well, it might be able to fit all four of them in their place. So the actual max material boundary for those holes is going to be equal to the max material condition for them plus the orientation tolerance. Max material condition plus the orientation tolerance. Sorry, max material boundary for this guy. And that is going to help these holes fit. I spoke there. Apologize. Okay, so if I apply a feature control or a datum feature to a feature control frame and I reference it at the max material boundary, it's going to be the max material condition of that feature plus the tolerance. Okay, what about a tertiary datum feature? Well, it gets a little bit more complex as we go. And it's all going to depend on which one we're going to be referencing. So, if we look at this, we have our datum feature A right here, which is that flat surface. We have our feature size datum B, which is this axis. And we have our datum feature C right here, which is going to be connected to, make sure it's on the right, yes. Um, connected to those. So, we've got a whole lot going on here. And you see that C is related to B in my material boundary. And this one right here is related to C at the max material boundary. That includes a whole lot of tolerance there. So, I mean, if we're looking at just this position tolerance, well, that one right there, its max material boundary is going to be equal to, you know, its max material condition plus my tolerance, okay, plus my tolerance. So 0.877, and then I add in the tolerance to get to 0.882. That's 0 0.005 tolerance right there. So that's just for that one though. However, if I go down here, what do you think is going to happen right here? Let's see if I have on the next slide. I do. Well, we zoom in here and you see that this one is going to be related to B as a material boundary. And this one's a material boundary. There's a whole lot of extra tolerance here. So what is my max material boundary? Well, it's all going to be based on how you're using it. Now there are two, two um, feature control frames for you. They're stacked on top of each other, but they're they're separate. And so since I see just the C with a max material boundary right next to it then the max material boundary for my datum C is just going to be simply equal to max material condition plus my position tolerance. That's not always the case though, because I could have also applied the translation symbol. Now this is a, a difficult one, one that's not used all that often. So if it throws you, I, I can understand. So we're still constraining that hole right there, but now we've added this little translation symbol. And what it says is that that datum C is free to translate. It's free to translate. Well, if something's translated, that doesn't sound like it's located as strictly as it would be otherwise, right? So if we look at this, before we had, you know, just no translation symbol, 
Our max width boundary for our datum C would have been the max width position plus our position tolerance. That's the highest order um, tolerance, and it's what's going to control it. However, with that translation symbol, we're now saying that this one, this datum can move back and forth. It can move back and forth however much it needs to to locate our feature. In that case, this isn't actually affecting it. Instead, the only one that's going to keep on affecting it is this orientation tolerance. So our max width boundary is now different, it's 0.878. So this is a hard one. This is one that is fairly difficult to visualize and to see. Um, and I will not throw this at you all that often, except for maybe on the homework. But still, you should keep it in mind. Keep looking at it. And remember that this is possible so that if you do see that data translation symbol, you don't get confused. So that's it for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see all of you later. Bye-bye.